pack your bags, sell your houses because you are going on a vacation to Mars in the next 30 years. The CEO of SpaceX has been planning for a long time to build a city on Mars. It would be self-sufficient, have enough room for a million people, and make it possible for people to live on more than one planet. This might be Musk's most lofty goal and has the potential to keep him busy for the next 30 years. But before we get into how Musk's goal is possible, we would appreciate it if you supported the channel by hitting the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. We always upload quality, factual, and informative videos every week to keep you informed about everything happening all over the world. So subscribe and stay subscribed. Thank you. When Elon was asked why he was doing this, he replied, I think this is very important for the future of life itself. There's always a chance that something could go wrong on Earth. Call it a messiah complex, but Musk's plan is to provide mankind with a second option in case things here on Earth go really bad. And building a full-size city on the surface of Mars seems like the only viable option to protect mankind. Everyone will be granted equal access to travel to the Red Planet, provided they can pay for the trip. If you can't, you can get a loan to pay for your trip. Once you get to Mars, you have to work in anything from iron foundries to pizzerias to pay off the loan. We don't know about you, but that's already sounding like a plot to a dystopian future where the rich only get richer and the poor poorer than they could ever imagine. Hopefully, it doesn't turn out that way. According to Musk, a self-sufficient city on Mars would need about a million tons of goods. According to his calculations, if the new Starship costs $100,000 per ton to send goods to Mars, then a city on Mars would cost around $100 billion and could cost as much as $10 trillion at the most, which by all definition is very expensive. Musk already gave us an idea of what the ticket fee to Mars would be like. In 2019, he said that a ticket could cost around $500,000 at first and then drop to $100,000 over time, which again is still very expensive. We even believe that the price might increase. Despite that staggering amount to just build one city, there are talks that Musk could build more than one city. The plan would be to grow, starting not just with an outpost but with a village, town, city, and then multiple cities on Mars. Musk has countlessly said that his goal is to make people able to live in more than one world. Over the years, he has given a number of reasons why humanity would want to spread out into the universe. One of the reasons he always brings up is that a life-ending event on Earth could mean the end of humanity, but humanity could live on if it could set up a base on a new world like Mars. Musk isn't the first person to say that humans should move to another planet. In 2017, the late Professor Stephen Hawking said that humans would need to spread out within 100 years if they wanted to stay alive. However, astrophysicist Martin Rees said that the idea was a dangerous delusion and that it would be easier to deal with climate change on Earth than to make Mars habitable. So who do you think is right? Stephen Hawking's plan of finding a new planet or Martin Rees's plan of fixing our planet? Let us know in the comment sections with your reason for picking your answer. Now back to the video. The Starship is the most important part of this plan. It needs to work for travel to Mars to be possible. The ship size will make it possible to send more than 100 tons or 100 people into space at once. Its fuel is liquid oxygen and methane instead of the rocket fuel used in the Falcon 9. This means that explorers can fly to Mars, refuel using resources on the planet, and then fly back to Earth. They could even go further into space and build a network of refueling stations along the way so they can go from planet to planet. But it won't be easy to achieve any of this. There are lots of challenges Musk has to overcome for us to travel to Mars. For example, the average surface temperature of Mars is minus 63 degrees Celsius or minus 82 degrees Fahrenheit. That alone makes it inhabitable for humans. Musk's plan to solve this problem is to heat up the planet's poles to melt frozen carbon dioxide. This would be done with a series of continuous low-fallout nuclear fusion explosions acting as artificial suns. In other words, to live on Mars, we need to bomb it first. The idea is to use carbon dioxide stores to make the atmosphere more comfortable so that people can walk around Mars with just a breathing device. Though this will probably not be accomplished during his lifetime, but he is setting the blueprint for it. If Starship becomes successful with the Artemis mission, fingers crossed, going to Mars might just happen sooner than we think. That's all we have for you today. 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and also the like button so we know you loved it and can continue producing videos like this. Also hit the little bell so you get notified with new updated videos just like this. Thank you for watching. Till next time.